Facebook Audience Insights is a free tool that you can use to conduct demographic research about your persona. In order to access it, you can go to your Facebook account and in the main navigation underneath Manage Ads, and then underneath the Facebook Ads dropdown, you will find a link to Audience Insights. So the first thing that you will see here is a prompt asking you to choose an audience that you want to start with. So you can either choose everyone on Facebook or you can choose people that are connected to your page. Since I don't own the Starbucks Facebook page and we are looking at a great but really, really fictional case study, I'm going to choose everyone on Facebook. That said, if I was managing the Starbucks Facebook page, I would be able to look at people connected to my page and better understand their demographics and interests. So in this case, I'm going to look at everyone on Facebook. And this is a great example to show how you can dig into an audience, even though you don't manage uh, a particular page. So the first thing we need to do to create the audience is fill out uh, the fields that you see here on the left. So this information is demographic information about the persona that we're looking to learn more about. So in this case, we're talking about Carla, the college student, and we already know some things about her because Starbucks gave us a very simple but great persona template. So the first thing we know is that she lives in the United States. So we're going to keep location at all United States. We know that uh, she's between ages 18 and 24. So we're going to change the age range here. And again, since I don't manage the Starbucks page, we can't look at people who uh, I can't look at the insights based on that. But I can look at insights based on people who follow Starbucks. So I can click on Starbucks here. Great. And then finally, in the advanced section, there's a bunch of different filters that you can use to target uh, to find a particular audience. We know that Carla is, of course, in college. So if you look at education here, there's no way to really target people that are currently in college, but you can target people who have a highest degree of education achieved in high school, meaning that they graduated from high school. So we'll click that as a filter. There's a bunch of other stuff here that you can use to create an audience that looks very similar to your target persona. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, but definitely worth exploring uh, in your free time. So now that we've created the audience, you'll see that the size is about 1.5 to 2 million people on Facebook that fit this particular criteria that we selected. It's 66% women, 34% men, which makes sense. Our persona is female, so it's it leans female. That makes sense. Um, relationship status information and education level is down here, which could also be interesting depending on what particular product you are marketing. And then finally, in the bottom here, you'll see job title. For Carla in particular, she seems to be skewing heavily towards sales, which, you know, when we think about college uh, students and the jobs that are available to them, that makes a ton of sense. When you scroll up here uh, in the page likes tab, this is by far my favorite part of Facebook audience insights. You can see here the top categories of things that Carla is into. So different brands uh, from retail companies to TV channels, things that she uh, has affinity to. So as you're building your content strategy, it would be really useful to understand what, what these brands are first. And then second, follow them. Take a look at their content, understand what they're offering. There's probably a lot of ideas that you can get from following a lot of these brands. We'll talk more about competitive research later, but this is this is a really useful place to understand content that could be could be of interest to your particular persona. And then in the bottom here, really relevant to the information in the top, which is top categories, you'll see the, the top pages that she's liking. Then finally, the other two tabs, location, you can take a look at where your persona is located. This can be really useful to create more targeted regional content or if you're advertising to make sure that you're targeting the right locations. And then finally, activity. So is Carla active on Facebook? So uh, this is useful, I would say for me, the most when, when I'm thinking about advertising, is this an audience that I wanna spend money to acquire or money to engage with? And so what you can see here is the gray bars represent the, the activity for people on Facebook. So just on average, and then the blue represents Carla or the persona that we built using the filters on the left. So what you can see about this particular persona is that she's really, really active on Facebook. So uh, whereas most on average people on Facebook are liking 13 posts in the last 30 days, Carla is liking 22. Uh, on average, people on Facebook um, clicked on 16 ads 
and Carla's clicking on 28. So she is a really great person to target on Facebook. She seems to be very, very active with the platform. So as you can see, you can use this free tool to learn a lot more about a particular audience that you're looking to target. But in addition to targeting, in addition to filtering for your own brand, so in this case, Starbucks, which is the brand that we are supporting in this case study, you can also take a look at the brands that your persona is interested in or that has affinity to. So we know from the persona that our Starbucks client shared with us that Carla is interested in Kate Spade. So you can also take a look at Kate Spade here and then understand how that audience is different from the audience of people that are currently following your brand. This can be really useful, especially if you're looking to expand way beyond the people who are already following you into completely new audience segments. So if Starbucks were to try to target the people, target the audience of people that uh, are really interested in Kate Spade, you can see here that this is already very different information. So this skews much more heavily female than male, 98 to 2%. And when you look at the page likes, the brands that show up here are very different from the brands that we had originally targeted when we looked at Starbucks as the primary interest category in the filters here on the left. So this is really important um, as you do uh, your research on your persona that you look at not just your own brand and people who are already following you, but also the brands of uh, uh, the brands that your persona is really interested in and spend a lot of time looking at what these different brands are offering to connect with your persona as a way to get ideas for what you could do as you build your own content strategy.